Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Sheila, better known as Love to Shop and Save here on YouTube. And I am long overdue with this video, but like they say, it's better late than never. Um, unfortunately, the original footage that I had where I was putting together this layout, I ended up deleting it, which really sucked because this is actually my first layout ever for um, my first planner. So I was kind of hoping to share that with you guys, but it is what it is. Anyway, guys, so the majority of these stickers were from Dollar Tree. There's a few of them like these here, no, these right here that were from um, a sticker pack that I ended up getting from Walgreens. Let me see if I have it over here. Is this sticker book right here? And it had like 375 counts. Um, I used some of these stickers from Dollar Tree, these little rhinestones. I used this table scatter these stickers from Jot, and these stickers here. And then um, there were a few of the stickers that I actually used from um, some of the stickers, like the planner stickers that I ended up getting from Hobby Lobby the other day. So again, I don't really have a whole lot of things. Um, the majority of the stuff, like stickers and things that I had, washi, I just ended up giving it away because I had thought about like the you know getting into the um, whole decorating of the planner and the planner thing. Even though I've always planned and always written things down, but I mean like actually, you know, being creative with a planner and decorating it and things like that. And I don't know, like I just would plan on doing it and I wouldn't. So I ended up giving away a lot of the washi that I had in a giveaway and also family, friends, and a lot of the stickers that I had because I figured I wasn't using it. But it's all good. Um, I just now have to start from scratch because I don't really have a whole lot. I mean, I do have, you know, some stickers left, but um, not as many as I had. Anyway, this is pretty much what I put together. I really liked how it came out. I ended up using this washi from the Target um, dollar spot, which was this one right here. Um, I just felt like that one was like really glittery, but at the same time and shiny, but not glittery so much, but like shiny. But it let like the other stickers kind of pop and stand out, which is what I wanted. Um, originally, I was going to use this washi, but then the stickers that I ended up getting were not with um, this kind of print. And because um, at first it was just these type of stickers here, so it looks like it was going to match. But then, I don't know, I just started getting um, into other kind of stickers and I felt like this would have just drowned everything out. But... I was also going to use um, these guys here, but in the end, because I want to use this for another spread, in the end, I just ended up using that. So let me start over here. Over here, I just kind of listed, um, again, guys, I'm really new to this, so, but what I am realizing is that there's really no right or wrong way to decorate your planner. It's all about what you like, what makes you happy. Um, so I just added this little sticker here. It says, um, market list and it has um, a list of all the things I needed. It's got like this little page flag here. It says love with a little sticker. I added the stickers from Dollar Tree and I layered a lot of them. And then I have these like little gems that are also from Dollar Tree. Um, I added the little dog and the little cat for both of my pets, um, Kiko and Mochi. Mochi is a male cat but or kitten rather unfortunately I don't have mochi anymore I had to end up giving him away to a family member of mine and he is definitely in a wonderful and happy home it's just that my boys were super allergic to him and I you know I just couldn't I just couldn't um, keep him in our, in our home um, then I went ahead and added over here these donuts, these kawaii donuts. I'm just loving the whole kawaii thing. I've always loved kawaii images. I just think they're super cute. 
Over here, I just added grocery shopping because I had to do grocery shopping that day. And I added this little sticker that says hashtag mom life. Um, and then this Valentine's Day sticker. It says movie because I ended up watching the movie, the original movie, um, Can't Buy Me Love, which is one of my favorite movies of like all time. Just love that movie. Brings me back to my youth, my childhood. I mean, there's tons of other movies I love, but that would definitely be one of like the top 10. Then this little sticker here, it's like a page flag. It says love and hugs. And I added the gems down here. It's another sticker here with the little mailbox and the cute little envelopes I added sort of like it's coming out of the mailbox. And then this love sticker with the arrow. And I layered those stickers here. And then over here on this side, um, again, I layered the sticker here. I love this unicorn eating a donut, so cute. Um, and I just added some more stickers there. I had a meeting on the 16th at 5.30, so I added that. Over here on this side, some more um, stickers. I had to um, shop for some, for some, for an outfit, dress and shoes for an event that I have um, coming up this week. And then I love these stickers. This was from Dollar Tree, this whole, um, Hot air balloon, loving it. And then these clouds were from the Walgreens sticker book. I just thought it looked so cute. This one says big day. My oldest son had an appointment that day for something really special and um, super excited for him about that. And then um, over here, pay date. We all love those dates. And then I also added these little stickers right here. And those stickers are like little dumbbells. These are the days that I went to the gym. Over here, it says... Um, true love and then xoxo it's got the little doggy again with the little bow in the little house um i printed out this little kawaii bunny the little heart and of course mickey and minnie my favorite i added a little heart in the middle and layered another heart there and yep so i'm really really loving the way this came out it was just so much fun i really really enjoyed it a lot and then I wanted to show you guys some embellishments that I actually made some paper clips so the first one that I made was this one here and I just layered these two hearts and added the gem in the front and then I thought I added one to the back of this one but that's another one that I made so I really like this one here and if you guys are wondering that's a little heart on my on my nail <laughs> so um then i went ahead and made this one which i thought was so cute just a little ribbon and then i added a little heart in the middle then i made this one here this was actually from dollar tree it was from they came on these little um sticks and I just kind of pulled it off and then I added a little ribbon there with a little heart. Then I made this one here. This is the one that I added the gem in the back. And this is just like a little kawaii face of a heart. And I added a little gem in the, in the um, it's actually a cookie. And then I added, um, well, the picture of a cookie. I added a little heart, a little gem on the side. Um, this one here, oh, this one came apart. I've got to fix that one. Sorry about that, guys. It's live TV. <laughs> I'll go ahead and fix that one. But anyway, um, I just have to add that little gem. But this one here is just a little donut. And then I went ahead and I added the um, little hearts around it, sort of like they were sprinkles. Is one of my favorite ones. I just have to add this little heart back to it. Then I made this one here and I layered the, the pink and red heart and then I just made like a cluster of those little tiny hearts. Then I made this one here. It's a little bow. It's got the little glittery heart. And then this was from a pack of table scatter and then the gem in the middle. 
And then lastly, I made this little mini envelope here. Thought it was so cute. And just in case you guys are interested online, um, they have these little templates that you can print out. I actually took the image and opened it up on a Word document and then kind of sized it to the size I wanted. You can make these bigger, smaller, but the template makes it so much easier and they just come out like a lot more unified. I was making them on my own, but I was kind of noticing that um, sometimes it would come out a little uneven or one would look completely different than the other one. So I wanted them to look um, like the ones that you'd actually, you know, buy at the craft store. So I figured the only way that that was going to happen because <laughs> I'm crafty, but not that crafty. Um, and again, I, I would say that I, I wouldn't say that I, I'm crafty in a way that because I like it and I, and I like to be creative. I wouldn't say that I'm great at it, but it makes me happy. So that's what's the most important thing. So again, this little template here. And then as you can see, what you would do is just copy this template onto whatever paper you want it to copy it on. Um, scrap or cardboard, cardstock, whatever. And then, you know, you just fold in the sides and it's super simple, super easy. So guys, that pretty much sums up. Which ones do you think I should go with guys? I think I'm going to go with that one. Sorry, you guys were out of range and let's see which one. And this one here, which I really liked as well. Even though I've got to glue that little heart back on it. But for now, I'm going to add that one. So I'm having, again, so much fun with these. You know, um, I get a lot of inspiration from a lot of you guys. And it is really true. You don't need to spend a whole lot of money to be creative and to create really fun and um, you know interesting pieces I just find this to be really relaxing it's just a way to kind of it's an outlet and I'm really enjoying it so guys I hope that you enjoyed this video I'm really looking forward to my March spread and hopefully I can actually do that with you guys along um, and you guys can see the process of that. I have a Dollar Tree haul that I'm going to be uploading soon. And again, my March spread. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love a thumbs up. And I would also love for you guys to stick around. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already on the way out. Um, thanks for watching. God bless. Mwah. Hugs, kisses, and see you in my next video. Bye.